Yeah, it is. Well, Fox 12 Chief Meteorologist Mark Nelson back with another check of your forecast. Tomorrow's going to be, look, she's got all smiles. I'm yeah. happy about yeah. it. This it's is a not, good one. She's so, not turning to me and going like, oh, another great day tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so outdoor <laughs> activities look good tomorrow. It obviously. looks great. In fact, okay. I think uh, well, I work the evening shift, of course. So usually I get up like 9 a.m. And I'm going to back it up an hour so I can really seize the day. Because then Friday's going to be drippy. Yeah. Okay. That's my personal life. <laughs> yeah. Looking at my personal life for tomorrow. I'm going to uh, get the most out of my day before I come to work. All right, so look how calm it is out there right now. Mary Hill Tasting Room, tasting room and Bistro Camera. 50 degrees, very mild evening. I do not expect any freezing in the vast majority of the metro area tonight. We're going to stay above freezing. Partly cloudy skies at our Stolar Family Estate. And there is the last of the sun over the coast range from our Willamette Valley Vineyards camera. That's up there in South Salem Hills. You know what? That's one spot. So this is a few hundred feet. It's probably five, six hundred feet up. This is the type of spot where I could see next Tuesday morning, maybe a skiff of snow. We'll see. Maybe more. We don't, we don't know yet. It's a little ways out there. But more on that in a minute. But tonight, partly cloudy, spots of valley fog, temperatures 30s to around 40 degrees. Notice Portland's a little warmer. The easterly windows start blowing out of the gorge the second part of the night. That stirs up the air and that keeps it a little bit warm, warmer. So bus stop forecast for the kids. If you don't live in an east wind area, just partly cloudy, calm in the morning in the 30s. If you live in one of those east wind spots, you know who you are out there, east county, east of I-205, especially, and in the west hills. Uh, it'll be around 40 degrees there. Now, in the afternoon, look at that, about 57 warmer than today. We may have a period of three or four hours where it is totally sunny without a cloud in the sky. That's what our models are hint hinting strongly it will occur. So, what's ahead? The next four days, we've only got one wet day. It's going to be showery on Friday. Tomorrow during the daylight hours is dry. Saturday looks dry. And most of Sunday, I think as you're driving away from your friend's house, let's say you're going somewhere for a Super Bowl party, uh, as you drive away, it's usually like 7, 7.30. At that point, you might start to see a shower or two on Super Bowl Sunday. What else do we see? Well, we're pretty confident it's going to be cooler next week with high temperatures staying back in the 40s, which is a bit below normal. What I don't see, though, is any sort of Arctic blast. We don't see cold air coming south out of Canada, which happened two years ago, uh, Valentine's Day. Remember the uh, big snowstorm and then the ice storm in the valley. So snow in the lowest elevations, yeah, there could be scattered, or there will be scattered showers, we think, uh, after Monday's system. And that could bring snow, as, uh, maybe it'll stick on the hills, we'll see. We'll talk more about that in the second part of the show. It's coming from over the ocean, though, it's, that's never promising for significant snow. Now, that system is staying way offshore, we've got strong high pressure, that blocks weather systems, and it's sinking air, dries things out. In fact, look at the cloud forecast tomorrow, some high clouds in the morning. Look at that, totally sunny at 2 p.m., and some spots in the valley getting over 60 degrees. We're going to be held below 60, I think, by that easterly wind. Then the showers do come in tomorrow night. And you see that snow level kind of goes up and down uh, over the next few days. Then you see a big drop there later Monday and Tuesday. And, yeah, then you see it's down getting pretty low. And we'll talk again more about that later in the show. But uh, 57 feels like spring tomorrow, 2, 3, 4 p.m. Looks great. The east wind will be backing off later in the day for all of us. Saturday looks dry after those scattered showers Friday. Sunday should be dry until those evening showers. A wet day Monday. And then we're still saying mixed showers Tuesday morning. Notice, notice the highs back in the low to mid 40s. So that's a, a noticeable chill in the air as we head towards the final few weeks of winter. All right, Mark, thank you.